hello and welcome to my youtube channel Chemviz. in this video we are going to discuss a very powerful analytical technique that is the mass spectrometry specifically we will begin our exploration by understanding how mass spectrometry can be used to characterize one of the simplest yet fundamental class of organic compounds the alkanes we will discover how this technique provides unique insights into their molecular weight and fragmentation patterns let's begin with the fundamental rules for the fragmentation of alkanes rule number one the relative height of molecular ion peak is the greatest for the straight chain compound and decreases as the degree of branching increases for example three isomers of pentane and pentane isopentane and neopentane have the molecular mass 72 so the molecular ion peak will appear at m by z 72 as we can see the degree of branching increases from n pentane to isopentane to neopentane so the height of molecular ion peak at m by z 72 will be the highest for n pentane followed by isopentane and is smallest for neopentane rule number two the relative height of molecular ion peak usually decreases with the increasing molecular weight in a homologous series for example methane ethane propane and butane they belong to a homologous series that is as we move from methane to butane through ethane and propane there is difference of only one ch2 between two successive species thus the height of molecular ion peak will be the highest for methane followed by ethane and propane and it will be smallest for butane rule number three cleavage is favored at alkyl substituted carbon atoms the more substituted the more likely is the cleavage if we correlate it with the stability of carbocations looks like this is a consequence of the increased stability of tertiary carbocation over secondary which in turn is more stable than a primary and methyl cation being the least stable for example in this alkane the substituents on different carbon atoms are 1 1 1 4 2 3 2 1 and 1 so based on the third rule cleavage will most likely occur at this carbon having four substituents rule number four generally the largest substituents at a branch is eliminated most readily as a radical giving a smallest possible carbocation here carbocation stability generally takes precedence over the radical stability let's take the example of fragmentation of 3-methylpentane after electronic bombardment one of the cc sigma bond electron gets eliminated to produce molecular ion as we have seen that the most likely cleavage is at the most substituted carbon so these two will be the most likely molecular ion structures there is one more but it will not lead to the cleavage as the most substituted carbon the general structure of molecular ion of any molecule can be written by just drawing the molecule and putting radical cation over inverted l so this will be the general structure of molecular ion of 3 methylpentane there are two possibilities for the fragmentation at the most substituted carbon path one in which this cc bond will be broken this cleavage will again be of two types one a in which 
the shared electron will move to ethyl and thus lead to the formation of ethyl radical and secondary butyl cation in type 2 in type 1 b the shared electron will move to secondary butyl group and thus lead to the formation of secondary butyl radical and ethyl cation path 2 will involve breaking up this cc bond this cleavage will again be of two types 2a in which the shared electron will move to methyl group and thus leading to the formation of methyl radical and pent 3 il carbocation in type 2b the shared electron will move to pentyl group and thus lead to the formation of pent 3 il radical and methyl cation the m by z values of these carbocations are 86 71 57 29 and 15 we know that secondary carbocation is more stable than primary and methyl we can see that we can see that uh, path 1a and 2a give secondary carbocation so these two paths will be will be preceded over 1b and 2b between 1a and between 1a and 2a 1a results expulsion of larger radical so 1a will be the most preferred and thus the height of peak with m by z 57 will be the highest mass fragmentation of 2 methyl pentane in this case also we can find the fragment ions like the way we did for 3 methyl pentane removal of one electron will give molecular ion breaking up this cc bond will give probe 2 il carbocation and propyl radical breaking up this cc bond will give pent 2 il carbocation and methyl radical and breaking up this bond will give isobutyl radical and ethyl carbocation the m by z values of these ions are 86 71 43 and 29 the highest peak will be of the ion with m by z 43 as this ion is stable and its generation results expulsion of largest free radical mass fragmentation of hexane as usual removal of an electron will give the molecular ion cleavage of c1c2 sigma bond will give methyl radical and pent 1l carbocation which will rearrange to more stable secondary carbocation breaking up c2c3 sigma bond will give but 1l carbocation and ethyl radical but 1l carbocation will rearrange to more stable secondary carbocation cleavage of c3 c4 bond will give probe 1 il radical and probe 1 il carbocation which will rearrange to secondary carbocation respective m by z values of these ions are 86 71 57 and 43 this peak is found to be the base peak that is it has the highest intensity the reason is purely statistical this carbocation can be formed by breaking off both the c2c3 and c4c5 bonds due to which it's it has higher abundance compared to probe 2 il carbocation with m by z 43 that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video